Hello world, welcome to my channel. I am Sahil and I had started a new series on how to develop a CRUD application with image upload using Node.js, Express, MongoDB and EJS templating engine. And this is the second video of the series in which I am going to show you how to set up this project. Okay. But before start, let me tell you that I will also deploy this application in live server. And for that I will use Linux shared hosting of DomainRacer.com because it supports node.js application hosting directly from the cpanel so we can easily deploy our node.js application in it okay and it also provides free ssl certificate and 360 degree malware protection in all the plans so if you are also looking for a cheapest and reliable web hosting then must visit domainracer.com for more information check link in the description box now let's start developing our application okay so just minimize this browser and first in desktop i will create a project directory okay so for this just create a new directory name it anything you want but i am naming node node underscore crud underscore app okay now open this directory inside vs code okay so i am using vs code here now next we will use the integrated terminal of vs code okay so just open the terminal of vs code now first here we will check that node.js is installed in our system or not okay so for this we will write a command node space dash dash version hit enter if version displays here it mean node is properly installed in your system if version is not displays it means node is not installed in your system so first you have to install a node.js in your system to install node.js you have to first download node from this node.js.org website okay now from here just click on this latest one and a download and then install in your system after installation you are ready to go okay so just come here now next what i will do is i will initialize this project with a file that is package.json okay so for this i will write a command npm in it hit enter now it will ask some questions so just hit enter many times finally it will create a new file that is package.json file with some description you can see here and in main you can see the main entry file of this project is index.js okay so i will change it to main.js save this now next what i will do is i will install some dependencies that i will use in this project okay so here i will write npm i for install and then here i will write the names of the packages okay so here i will write express mongoose express session ejs and multer and one more dot env okay now hit enter to download all the packages okay into this project so here you can see packages are downloading so we will download one more package that will be for only local development okay so wait okay so now you can see the package.json file is updated with all the dependencies okay here you can see the list of all dependencies now i will also install one more dependency that is not node mon okay so just write npm install and it will be only for a uh, development purpose so here i will use a uh, dash capital d flag okay and here i will write the name of the package that is node mon and hit enter okay now wait until it downloads the node mon package okay
until it downloads uh, let's create our main entry file that is main.js okay and also create another file that is .env file now this .env file will contain all the environment variable uh, okay so here what I will do is I will create a variable port equal to and initialize value with 5000 okay save this close this file now here you can see node mon is also installed now if you go to package.json file then here you can see a package that is uh, listed inside dev dependencies okay now to use this node mon here in a script i will create another script with start and here i will use node mon and app.js okay save this now close this package.json file now in main.js file what i will do is first i will write some comment imports here first we will include the dot env package okay so just use require and here just write in dot env dot config okay and then i will use express okay and i will also include mongoose package i will also include express session okay require express session okay and i will also um, okay for now just leave this now here i will create a constant app equal to and here i will use express now again i will create another constant with port equal to now i will get the port from this env file okay so for this i will write process dot env dot port okay and here i will use or operator and here i will use another port number in case it failed to get port from this environment variable okay now testing i will use a route get and here i will use callback function now this callback function will take two argument that is request and response now here i will simply display a message with raise dot send and here i will write hello world okay now next i will just use app dot listen port callback function and here i will use console log here i will use server started at http colon double forward slash local host colon and then the port okay so just write port here save this now to test this is working or not we have to just run the script with npm start hit enter and wait okay you can see this message server started at this address okay so just open this address in your browser now you can see the message hello world it means our uh, our server is working fine okay next we will set up our database okay so i will use mongodb database here so for this we have to just go to browser and open mongodb.com okay now from mongodb.com we have to download uh, this community server uh, into our system okay if you want to use mongodb locally then you have to install this uh, software that is community server okay 
into your system and also this compass tool for GUI GUI for MongoDB okay so I have installed both of these two software in my system if you have not then just download this community server and this compass tool into your system okay so uh, if I open this compass MongoDB compass then you will see uh, this type of screen okay so don't change anything just click on connect okay now from here what I will do is I will create a new database okay so just click on create database so here I will write the name of database that is um, node underscore crud sorry node underscore crud and here I will write the collection name that is users okay and click on create database okay now you can see our database is created now just minimize this and close this also just come here and next what I will do is just go to dot env uh, file here I will write db underscore uri and here I will use mongo db colon double slash local host okay local host and here we have to write the port okay so we have to write uh, this port actually this port 27017 okay so just write 27017 slash and the name of the database so i have written there node underscore crud okay so this will be our db underscore uri okay mongo db colon double double slash local host colon 27017 slash the name of the database okay so just save it and go to main.js file now here i will write a comment database connection okay and here i will use mongoose dot sorry mongoose dot connect and here we will just use db uri from the environment variable so here i will write process dot env dot and db underscore uri okay and next what i will do is i will just use this you use new parser use new parser and the, make it true okay actually we have to wrap in this curly brace okay and next what i will do is i will create a constant db equal to mongoose dot connection okay now next we will check that db dot on error okay if something went wrong then we will handle the error using this uh, callback function okay and display the error message okay sorry here i will use console log okay so here i will display the error message so just pass the error sorry error sorry error and next db dot once okay open if uh, database is connected then we will display some success message using this callback function using this console log so here i will just write connected to the database okay save this okay so we are getting some error here so what's wrong here let's check okay so here we have to just use this okay so you can see 
we are again getting some error okay actually not error we are getting some uh, warnings okay so some deprecation warning so to get rid of these deprecation warning we have to use this also okay so just copy and paste here save now again uh, we are getting some kind of uh, deprecation warning okay so i have written it wrong here just write url also okay now you can see we are not getting any warning okay and we are also connected to our database okay uh, now next what i will do is i will also use some middlewares okay so here uh, i will just write a comment middlewares and first will be app dot use express dot url encoded okay and here i will use extended sorry extended and value will be false okay and i will also use express dot json middleware okay and we will also initialize our uh, express session middleware okay so for this what i will do is just use app dot use okay app dot use session and then um, say sorry session and here inside this we will use secret okay and in secret you can write any text okay so i will write my secret key okay my secret key and you would save an initialized to true and resave false okay now next i will i will use another middleware that is uh, a storing session message okay so here i will use app dot use and then here i will use callback function with three argument request response and next and then here i will use raise dot locals dot message sorry message equal to request dot session dot message okay and next we will use delete request dot session dot message okay and just use next here okay now our middlewares are set now next what i will do is i will also set the template engine okay so here i will write a comment set template engine and here i will use app dot use express okay so here i will use app dot set and here i will write view sorry view engine and our in view uh, templating engine is ejs so here just write ejs and okay just save this now next what i will do is i will create another folder uh, with name routes okay 
inside this i will create a new file that will be routes.js so inside this uh, file i will write all the routes of this application okay and i will also create one more folder that is models sorry models now inside this model i will define our schema okay so here i will write users dot js okay so let's define the schema okay so here i will first include mongoose mongoose okay and next i will create a constant user schema and equal to new mongoose dot schema okay and inside this i will define uh the fields okay so first field will be name and it will be type sorry this will be a type of string okay so just write string and required will be true so this will be a required field so just use required property okay and next will be email so just write email and type will be string and required will be true okay now next field will be image okay not image phone and type will be string and required will be true okay and next field will be image okay image and type will be string and required will be true okay now next field will be created and type will be date and required will be true and by default it will insert date dot now the current date okay okay so our schema is ready we have to just use module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model okay and here just write the model name that is users and just pass the schema okay save this now our model is also ready to use okay now in routes what i will do is just go to routes folder and here what what i will do is i will include the sorry i will include express okay and i will just create a variable sorry constant router equal to express dot router okay and then here what i will do is i will create a router router dot get and if i just write users and request response now here i will just use raise dot send all users okay now here what i will do is module dot x sorry module dot exports equal to router okay and just go to main dot js file now here just remove this route instead here we will just use a middleware okay 
so here I'll write rock sorry prefix rock prefix and here I will just use app dot use and here I will use require require and here just go to this route folder and then routes okay save this now if we just open this link then you can see cannot get slash okay so here we have to write users and if we hit enter then we are getting all users message okay so now we will write all our routes in this routes.js file and this uh, root prefix will take care of all the routes okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to design home page and and another pages okay till then thanks for watching this video please like and share this video and also subscribe this channel see you soon in the next video